So today, is CAT better than Milwaukee? And can the DX13 with the graphene battery outperform the Milwaukee 2904 with the regular five amp hour XC? Let's run through the specs real quick and then we'll get these on the dyno. So the CAT DX12, the kit is the same number as the drill. So DX12, max RPM of zero to 500 in speed one and then zero to 2000 in speed two with a max claim torque of 600 pound inch, BPM of zero to 8,000 in speed one and zero to 32 in speed two. Weight tool only, three pounds. Weight with battery, 3.9 pounds. Truck size half inch, made in China. Cat DX13, max RPM, zero to 550 in speed one and zero to 2,200 in speed two. Max torque, 700 pound inch, BPM of zero to 10,450 and 41,800. Weight to only 3.8 pounds. Weight with battery, 6.3 pounds. Half inch chuck, made in China. Milwaukee, 2904-20. Kit, 2904 22 Max RPM speed one, 500. Max RPM speed two, 2,100. Max torque, 1,400 pound inch. BPM of zero to 33,000. Weight tool only, 3.8 pounds. Weight with battery, 5.4 pounds. Half inch chuck, and is also made in China. So we're gonna start with the DX12. Drill mode, two amp hour battery it came with. I'm gonna go ahead and do three pulls each. We'll take an average of that. Then we'll go to the four amp hour and then we'll put the five amp hour on here and then we'll go to the DX13 and do the same. DX12, four amp hour. Five amp hour on the DX12. So now I have the DX13 drill mode there, full two amp hour. DX13, four amp hour. DX13, five amp hour graphene battery. So can the Milwaukee 2904 beat the Caterpillar? So the five amp hour XC standard battery that would come in the kit, Let's see what happens.
She powered right through it, but definitely more power than the Caterpillar. But we'll have to wait till later on to test this some more. But we can adjust for higher power drills later on. But for right now, this proves that the Milwaukee, yeah, it's definitely better than the Cat. So now I'm gonna do gear two, and we're gonna run through the batteries again. They've been all charged. And we'll see what we get for max torque. That's interesting there with this five amp hour battery. I mean, it's a little bit less than using the four amp hour on high speed. So that's quite interesting. Definitely no gain to this performance wise versus the four amp hour if you're always in speed two. So we'll put the Milwaukee on here in speed two and really see how much power this thing's got. Five amp hour, speed two. So for max power, this was in speed one. So as you can see, Milwaukee definitely beat Cat here. Even the DX13 with the graphene battery could not outperform the 2904 with a standard five amp hour XC battery. Torque wise, yeah, same story. But what is interesting is if you use the five amp hour graphene battery on the DX12, I didn't see any gain over using the four amp hour here. Now I have both tables here. So above we have those overall specs again. We don't have watts from the manufacturers, only pound inch of max force. X13 and the 2904 kit wise are right there in price, direct competitors. One thing to note with the Milwaukee though, you get two five amp hour batteries versus the catch you're getting that one five amp hour graphene battery. But at the end of the day, overall the Milwaukee definitely outbeat the cat. What's impressive is when you look at speed two, the Milwaukee outperformed the cat almost double, where we have a max force on the cat of 42 pound inch versus 84 with the Milwaukee. Now the max power tested in watts, again, that was in speed one. Then we have power versus weight and power to cost in this scenario by the kit. So overall, there you have it. I would stay away from the DX12. Yes, it's $200, but in the kit, this two amp hour battery hinders the performance. Now, if it came with one four amp hour versus those two two amp hours, you know, it might be a decent drill for $200. When we're talking the DX13 versus the Milwaukee, well, yeah, the Milwaukee beat the DX13. Quite a bit more compact. Weighs quite a bit less when you factor in the graphene battery here. The only true benefit I see in this scenario is the rapid charging of this graphene battery, which was tested in a previous video with a impressive time of 22 minutes. But again, that being said, you get two five amp hours in this kit so one can always be ready to go once one drains down. And this also has the auto stop feature. And overall, the cat lineup is quite small, definitely compared to Milwaukee. And at the end of the day, we still need to do a little more testing with this, with the six amp power, the nine amp power, and also the 12 amp power. I definitely think we can get a lot more performance out of this drill. 
I will have to adjust the dyno for that. Again, currently it's set to mid power to low power drills. So in the future, expect to see a video on this being tested again with those higher amp batteries. Now, I did not test BPM. That's something that I will test in the future. But in my opinion, you don't use these to drill concrete. To me, if you're drilling concrete, it's gotta be a rotary hammer drill. I know sometimes these are good to get in tight areas, but overall, if you're drilling concrete, yeah, I wouldn't play around. So yeah, at the end of the day, I would go with the Milwaukee. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on another one.